Hi you walk watchers and welcome back to another one of our videos, this time of Tief Doc Dara and I'm starting at Rocky Mountain in the Western Mourns. So the first thing to notice is the weather. Uh, you can't really miss it, it's really cloudy. Um, but I still felt that I was able to head off here. It wasn't raining, it wasn't that terribly cold. Um, I parked at Leitrim Lodge and headed up the path, which is a really great path as you can see here. It's well surfaced, really even underfoot. Um, until I got to the marker for the Mourn Way. There you just see it there. And I began to ascend up Rocky Mountain. Now Rocky Mountain is pretty straightforward to walk up, it's uh, 404 metres um, and it's grassy, rocky underfoot, well rocky of course it would be with its name, um, so it's pretty straightforward, no big issues. Sexy slow-mo. Um, just a wee note on what's happening underfoot here, you can see it in this weather is starting to get a bit sludgy and mucky, um, but Rocky Mountain living up to its name, lots of rock and good purchase for walking on, so it's, it's not complicated uh, getting up to the top of this. The mountain is topped with a few outcrops, small outcrops of rock, just wind your way around those before you find the high point. And indeed, there it is, Rocky Mountain at 404 metres. You see me there taking off my bag because it is now cold enough for me to put my hat on before I descend and head up Turnham Rock. Again, none of these mountains are too complicated, they're quite conical. But Turnham Rock has a lovely feature on the top. It's this massive outcrop of rock. It's, it's almost carved into huge big blocks on the top. Look at that, isn't it just beautiful? Again, look at these lovely views. On a clear day, I'd be telling you that that was the rocky water down there and I could see Hen Mountain and Pigeon Mountain and Cock Mountain and Eagle Mountain and... Let me just show you where we are. So we've left Leitrim Lodge car park, we've come up onto Rocky Mountain, back down and up onto Turnham Rock. Now you see the valley down there with the Rocky River down below it? <laughs> That's where... Out hiking, most of us will have to cross a bog somewhere in Ireland. <laughs> but only about 3% of the world's landmass is covered in this stuff. Compared to 30%, something like that, of forest across the globe. And bogs capture twice the amount of carbon that all the forests in the world do. That's a huge percentage. Here in Ireland, or here in particularly Northern Ireland, 12% of our landmass is covered with bog. And it does an awful lot of heavy lifting when it comes to our carbon targets as well for climate change, because this acts as, as a carbon pool for 53% of the carbon that we produce here in Northern Ireland. That is huge. And not only that, but they're extremely important habitats. Think of all the different plants and bugs and uh, mammals and birds that rely on this as their home. Not only that, but 70% of all the drinking water in the UK starts up in places like this, up in upland uh, catchments, and usually in a bog, which then slowly releases it down to us in our towns and cities. And here in the Mourns particularly, we know that because the NI water have the Mourn wall, which hems in the catchment for all those little tributaries that feed Ben Crum Reservoir and Silent Valley Reservoir, which feeds the water into our system for, 
for us here in Northern Ireland. So bogs are a really important place, really important habitats. <laughs> Although they're really horrible, we may curse them for wet socks and wet boots, but they really are important to us. Coming down the slopes of Turnham Rock then, on the western side of us is Alta Taggart at 445 metres and that path that we started going up originally is there too. And we're now coming up Pierce's Castle which is 465. Some massive big slabs of rock um, before we get up around Pierce's Castle. I'm not going to go up onto the main outcrop of rock today because as you can hear it's really quite blustery and blowy. But we're going to join the top end of the path again uh, before we head round to Teeth Dock Dara. Let me give you some statistics then. Teeth Dock Dara sits in the Mourne Range of Mountains at 473 metres. It took me about 3 hours and 36 minutes, 21,156 steps at a distance of about 13.5 kilometres for this walk. An average pace of 16.06 minutes. Low cloud, 5 degrees C. It was really blustery. I was by myself and I parked at Spens, thus crouches on what three words. How are you? Good to see you. Isn't it great? Uh, are you there? How are you? So following the Bat Estate wall now round the corner, round the bend, up onto Teeth Dock Dara and there it is, the high point at 473 metres. Now let me show you the views out to the east here, out over Eagle and uh, Shanleave, uh, and then out over those beautiful drumlins to the west over Rathfryland. You know, it does look awfully dull and dreary with all that cloud. But temperature-wise, it's actually not that bad. Maybe it's because I've got a good pace going and I've got a couple of layers on. But I uh, have more layers in my bag that I'm carrying and I really don't think I need them. Wow, so calm and quiet down here. Well, I thought I'd wait and uh, come off the mountain uh, before I would talk to you because um, the winds are, are pretty uh, strong up there. So um, I came down here to the edge of the forest and it's absolutely gorgeous down in here and it's really quiet and calm. The wind seems to be going over the top of us, which is lovely. Now, that was Teeth Dog Dara. Teeth Dog Dara? Or Teeth Dog Or uh, Teeth Dog I'm not sure how to say it. Please comment below and let me know how to say it. But we're in the Western Mourns and that mountain is 427 meters, so it's not very big. But as you saw, I went up Rocky Mountain first, which is 404, and over to Pierce's Castle, and then down and round, um, and up Bats Wall uh, to Teeth Dock Dara or Teeth Dockara or whatever you want to call it. Teeth Dockara. I don't know. And I did that because these winds were predicted for today, so I thought. Um, instead of coming round by the Mourne Way and up through the forest and onto the mountain, I would do it the other way and end up in the sheltered spot uh, down in the valley, um, just in case those winds did get a bit brutal. I mean, there's a yellow warning night, so um, I thought I'd play it safe and go up the mountains first of all and down into the forest. This has been a lovely walk and it's quite a popular walk actually, um, starting at Leitrim Lodge and then coming up, there's a, a lovely trail that has been made, but it was used for the Game of Thrones uh, filming. So there is a, a quite a um, uh, quite a sturdy path right up to the foot of this mountain here. So um, it, it's quite accessible and it's very popular and certainly down into the woods here and along the Mourne Way, which uh, which sort of hugs the, the river and hugs the, uh, the road. We'll get back to Leitrim Lodge. It's a great, great walk. Um, the weather has been, as I said up there, you know, it's not that cold. I was expecting it to be colder. Uh, it gave it to be five degrees and dropping down to about three degrees and then sort of minus three on the on the summits of some of the mountains. 
that really didn't materialize. Uh, maybe this low cloud has kept the, kept the temperatures up a bit. And certainly I was walking at a good pace, so I'm sweating loads, you know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our walk. Please like and share it with all your friends uh, and even subscribe. I then followed the path down into the heart of Ross Trevor uh, Forest. Very pleasant. And then I found the wee walkway down beside the Yellowwater River. This walk for me was seventh heaven. A mountain, a forest and a river all in one. It was just brilliant. Now, walking along then the main Mourne Way uh, all the way back towards Leitrim Lodge from the Yellow Water Car Park. Uh, you can see Rocky Mountain again in the distance. Right, let's go over that route then. So from Leitrim Lodge up onto Rocky Mountain, Turnham Rock and then up onto Pierce's Castle. Uh, in the fog, in the cloud, there's Pierce's Castle. Then on beyond that, and right up following Bat's Wall, up onto Teeve Dock Dara, and dropping down into Ross Trevor Forest, which was beautiful. Down along the Yellowwater River, back along the Moran Way, up and round, and back down to Leitrim Lodge. But this has been the Walk Watchers Walk of Teeve Dock Dara in the Western Moorns. Thanks so much for watching another one of our walks. But now why don't you get your boots on, go outside and go exploring. And I'll see you again next time. <laughs>